Oh my gosh, you're so insufferably slow. You play this game for a while after you've made some advances. And then you have to go back and play where he gets tired after running. 50 yards? Oh, you want me to go take care of somebody? Hopefully I can. Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh, I bet you have to go in the door here and up a stair or something. Nope, I was wrong. I should have stayed up there. There we go. Oh. Gimme. Ugh. There's a door? Oh, you. Hey, it's Craig, right? You want some valuable info? What are you talking about? Listen, I'm a civil engineer. I was working out of a firm in Old Town. Sector Zero, I guess people are calling it now. You know what we spend all our time on? The sewers. Now that sounds thrilling. Hey now, there's no need to be sarcastic. Orion's sewer system is a thing of beauty. If you've got the right eye for it, anyway. You know who should have the right eye for it? You. If you got a point, now would be a good time to get to it. Patient, huh? Can't wait to get out there and kill some zombies, huh? They go everywhere under the city. You name a location, we've got a sewer line running about five or ten meters below the surface. See, we were able to turn them into a bunch of existing caverns. At least not north of our, am I right? They spread out on the horizon in every direction. Most of them are much larger than standard sewer lines, too. Makes navigating around them in a snap. They sound like a great place for zombies to congregate, too. Well, no system is perfect, is it? <laughs> is that it? Okay, I want to check something because... This is getting really irritating. I can't hear them talk. Hopefully that helps. I may edit that out. Anyway, he wants us to go check out the sewers, and I imagine we have a new quest now. No? <laughs> okay. You got anything else to say? Nothing? Seriously, that's that's bizarre. Okay, let's... <laughs> You learn how to run faster by running. Uh, you get absolutely exhausted running, meaning it's difficult to learn to run any faster. <laughs> Take any points for jumping over that? Nope. Great. Three quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. On my way. I'm trying to get there, but I move at approximately one and a half miles an hour, no matter what. There's red smoke, which is supposed to be the sign. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Where's a crate? Oh, it's right there. Up, somewhere. Oh, that must be that big giant parachute. Whoa! 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 Wow. Hmm. Probably gonna get up here and then there. Good grief! Seriously. How the heck do we get up here? How about up here? Are you? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Am I dead yet? Ah, here we go. Oh 
Boy, he is just incredibly lame right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah? No? Yeah? There it is. Damn it. Nothing here. There's another one. Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. I have no guns, no ammo, I have a pipe, and I'm trying to fight... What's his name? I didn't know that those things were... Walk through. We're gonna try and get to at least one of those things before... Are you kidding me? Already tired. Apparently, one of the reasons that you're supposed to go do side quests and just generally beat the crap out of zombies is... You're kinda too weak to do the main quest. I don't know. I don't know. Oh right? shit. I'm swarming like locusts. traps, but they're only really useful for volatiles. Oh, wow, what? Oh, it's way over here? It looked for all the world... I think I did this on my first playthrough, too. It looks for all the world like it drops on the, uh, bridge, but it turns out it's not on the bridge. Oh, my gosh. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, don't try to fight them because you can barely even run. Are you kidding me? I can't even run up a hill. Oh, huff puff, huff puff, huff puff. Dude, I'm almost there. I can do this. Where is it? There it is. Whoa, can I get over there? Oh, just barely. Uh oh, I think I just died. I think I just died. Yes, I did. You can't jump that far. Survivor points lost? Ten. Oh man, please let me out of this thing. It's dark. Is it dark? How do I get out of here? I guess maybe out the window. Nope, not that window. Are you kidding me? What do I have to do? Go upstairs to get out? Yeah, this is the worst safe house ever. 
this. Can we get out of here? Okay. No, I can't kick things when you're in a safe area. That would be silly. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Like I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I gotta hurry. Oh, now I gotta spend another 15 minutes running five feet because I was in a hurry. climb up that, can you? <laughs> Run! Run, Forrest! That's probably my favorite joke for this game. Run, Forrest! Boy, they sent me a long way away from this thing. Oh man. I am getting the hell out of here. It is over. I'm out of here. I'm going to the other drop. The safe drop. The drop that is part of the main storyline. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's my favorite joke. I have precisely five jokes, and that's one of them. There's that little side hop I was so used to in slow motion. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. Holy mackerel. For me, as a kind of a video game goober, to judge just how far I'm allowed to jump before I die. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, I remember this, too. Oh, this is not going to be good. I had a gun by this time in my first playthrough. Cigarettes. Cigarettes are like 20 bucks. Okay, they took something and left me something. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, wait till you get a load of this. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Anderson, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. 
Remember that. Now, how stupid do you have to be to buy a dumbass plan like that? <laughs> 